This video is a um, review of the SanDisk SSD Plus one terabyte drive. These drives are inexpensive. I got this one actually for 95 bucks on sale on Amazon. And um, I thought it was a little bit too cheap to be true. And it's, it turns out it really isn't as, as good as you want it to be. And I'm gonna show you the actual benchmark results explaining why. I also want to explain that um, I previously upgraded my Windows drive to this Corsair Force GT 120 gigabyte. This is several years old. Um, and this really gave me a big boost in speed when I moved my windows to this. But what happened when I put this in for my data drive, this is my data drive. So I, it's a one terabyte regular hard drive. So I replaced this with this and it turned out I didn't get any boost in speed whatsoever. And then when I looked at the benchmarks, I understood why, and I'm going to show you those in just a second. Um, and this, this SSD here, there's really, it's funny because it comes in just in this little plastic cardboard wrapper and there's just really nothing to it. They don't even give you a box these days. Um, but that's not the problem. <laughs> the problem is the technology within the in, within the drive. I was a little bit worried because these drives use what they call QLC. So there's three different types of memory for um, SD kind of or non-volatile chips. There's, there's what's called uh, SLC for single um, and then MLC for multiple and now Q, QLC for quad. And as you might Think the single only stores one bit of data in every memory location. The multiple stores two bits of data in every location. There's actually also a TLC which stores three, and now this stuff stores four. So um, they're trying to squeeze more data into less space, less cost, and uh, you do pay uh, a significant penalty. Um, this drive being several years old, I'm not 100% sure, but it must have probably used MLC or worse TLC. Uh, whereas this is using QLC. So I would definitely stay away from the QLC drives uh, if you want good performance. So let's go on to the benchmarks now. This is Crystal Diskmark, which shows the benchmarks for hard drives. And I've got it pointed right now to my D drive and E drive, which are part of a one terabyte uh, SSD that I'm testing here. And the, uh, the good news is that the read is 432 megabytes per second. Uh, not so good. In fact, pretty bad is the write is 105 megabytes per second. But the really strange thing is that the writes for, okay, so that's the sequential read of really big sectors. That's the theoretical um, uh, performance of your hard drive, but that's not really simulating real life because in real life, you're not typically reading giant files and writing giant files. So instead, here they do 4K blocks in various different configurations. And what is interesting here to me is that it's writing at 66 megabytes per second, but it's only reading at about 7 or 8 megabytes per second. Normally, I would think of writing as being a lot slower than reading. But in this uh, SanDisk SSD Plus, it turns out that what's happening on the writing is that when you write all these files, it's actually caching it in really fast memory and then writing them in bulk. So it's, it's kind of cheating. <laughs> it's not really writing them in 4K blocks. Whereas in reading, it's actually doing, it has to wait to get each 4K block. And so there's no way for the, for the SSD to cheat on us. So this is the actual throughput of, of reading these small files. So this is really bad. So let me give you a comparison. So I'm going to switch to another app that I've run um, other tests on my other hard drives. So for by comparison, this is a uh, Corsair 120 gigabyte hard drive that I bought several years ago. And you can see the read is 480. The write is slower as you would expect uh, 151, but it's faster than that this new S uh, SanDisk one. But take a look at these reads, okay? 89 versus 106, 100 versus 84. Um, I'm not sure, exactly sure what the difference between these are, but you know, in the worst case, it's going down to 20 megabytes per second versus 80 for the writes. So uh, you can see that this 120 gigabyte hard drive uh, SSD from a few years ago is a lot faster. Let's take a look at a couple other comparisons. So this is a regular hard drive. This is a Seagate uh, one terabyte hard drive, 7200 RPM. And you can see the read is 148, which isn't great. Um, it's, you know, three times, two, at least two times slower than the SSDs. But you see that the write is actually faster than the SSD, so that puts the SSD in a poor light. But this is what we typically see in hard drives. You get, you know, this is like one megabyte per second reading and writing. 
uh, only half a megabyte in the in the worst case. Um, so it, uh, the SSD is faster than the um, than the hard drive, but not a ton. Let me switch to another benchmark. So this is another. These are uh, copies of benchmarks. I ran this benchmark multiple times on this new SanDisk SSD. So here it's doing about seven and a half. Here it's doing again 7.2, 7.5. So let me go backwards now. So this is the SanDisk test one, SanDisk test two. Let's switch between those two. So interesting. You look at the the write on this for some reason was down to 60 megabytes per second. I don't know why that's different. These were consecutive tests. So why the write was down to 60, I don't know, but that's it shows you what the worst case performance can be. Let's go back to another SanDisk test. So this is the SanDisk test here. The, the write is at 325. So it's very interesting how that can vary by so much. But you can see pretty consistently the the, 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 the small block writes are about 60 megabytes bytes per second and the reads are about seven megabytes per second. So in summary, what I would recommend you do is you definitely should upgrade your hard drive to an SSD, but what you should do is just get the, the least, ex, least size hard drive uh, um, SSD of really good memory, really fast memory, okay? Try to find a TLC hard drive or, or an MLC hard drive uh, SSD. That's gonna be a really fast reliable source of memory and it's going to last a really long time. The um, the other thing I didn't talk about is the QLC because it's it's storing four bits of data it's not going to last as much as an MLC or a TLC which is going to store three or two bits of data. You get more write cycles out of a, an MLC or a TLC. So get a small SSD to store your Windows drive on your operating system and all your program files then just stick with a regular hard drive for your big data file. All those movie and audio files that you don't read or write all that often. Yeah, just get a super big hard drive and store those on them. Don't don't go for one of these inexpensive uh, SSDs because uh, you're paying you're paying a hundred bucks for this. Okay, but really you're much better off paying like thirty bucks for this. That's going to really speed up your operating system. The rest of the money save it on a, on a bigger hard drive because it's not going to make any difference for you. These things are just not fast enough for these new QLC drives. Um, also, I want to note that this is the one terabyte size and it this performance can vary depending on what size. So the bigger the size, the more likely it's going to use QLC and have slower performance. Um, so uh, this review is, is probably going to have different results for 480 and 240 gigabyte sizes. One terabyte is a different deal altogether. So um, definitely, I would upgrade something. I would use your disk, uh, crystal disk mark to check what's going on. And I would recommend you optimize best memory for your windows and programs, and then slow, reliable, lots of write cycles for your data.